and welcome to the first lecture and the first module of this fall's world history 1840 or 1840 1900 to 1945 i was reading something else there i'm sorry about that uh this is an interesting lecture that not all the professors here at the university do or if they do it they do it in a little bit more of a subtle way but me and a couple of others not necessarily because we've agreed to do this but just because we feel it's important on our own have decided to make teaching history more scientific in many ways history is an art it is a humanity it's a but it's also a social science and it has a certain method and a certain um, approach that needs to be understood i like to tell my students here <clears throat> For every class that I teach, regardless of whether or not it's American history or world history or Islamic history or Caribbean history or medieval or whatever history courses I've had the pleasure of teaching or helping to teach, that all of you right now at this very moment, at the moment that you started this class, are no longer just students. You are historians yourselves. And although I am in training to be a professional historian and while i am actually a professional historian because i published i am also a student of history so i am the historian but i'm also a student and you are students but you are also historians so going forward in this course whether it's this week or the next week or all the way to the very end i want your mindset in this class to be you are a historian now what does that mean that does not mean that I'm going to give or hold you to the standards of a history major or a graduate student or anything like that. This is a survey course. Uh, it will be challenging, but it is meant for people who are uh, simply trying to fulfill their general education requirements and for people who are interest, sincerely interested in looking into minoring in history or majoring in history. But I want you to be in the correct mindset that history is not something that is simply done to you or told to you, but something that you, in fact, do yourself. And as we pr proceed through this class with the assignments and the discussion boards and our final exam, you will be called upon to act accordingly, to participate, not simply by performing assignments, but performing specific assignments that ask you to engage the material as a historian would. This is very important. It demystifies the profession. Also, you are never going to remember everything that I teach you in this class. So while I am going to teach you content and material, Mainly what I want you to take away. Well, I shouldn't say mainly because that's important too, but equally important. I want you to take away the methods as well. And so I am setting aside two weeks for this. Week one and the final week of, of lecture before we go on hiatus and you work on your final exam. Both of these weeks will discuss what history is, what it isn't. It will give you certain terms, and it will introduce you to historical thinking. And I have a number of reasons for this, but we're not going to get to those right now. So let's begin our discussion for this very first lecture, the fall of 2019. What is, what is, it, what is history, and what is it that hist historians do? Uh, this is a sculpture, a dual-headed sculpture of Herodotus and Thucydides. Both men are considered the first historians of the Western world. Herodotus is on the left and Thucydides is on the right. Uh, Herodotus comes a little earlier. He travels around the Mediterranean to Iran, or what becomes Iran, Persia, uh, to North Africa, to Italy, uh, all these places, and he simply hangs out with all the locals and learns about battles and lore and famous people and then writes it down. Essentially, Herodotus was a travel guide or a travel writer, I think is what we would call him today. And Thucydides was a general during the Peloponnesian War who wrote several histories on that war trying to cope with the... Um, his stress and what we would call today perhaps post-traumatic stress in dealing with that war and fighting that war and understanding 
why that why that war occurred and and um how it fits into what the gods have wanted we're not going to go that much into them i just wanted to introduce you who, to who these characters were and think of them as really as the statue kind of su suggests two sides of of a, of a coin you have one guy who's kind of the travel writer interested in the quirky things uh, around the uh, the world the known world and another guy who looks at history as a more of a serious uh, examination uh, of um, some kind of important political or military event i just want to pause for a second tell you don't freak out about this lecture just because i'm getting kind of heavy sit back relax take a few notes but don't uh don't freak because as you'll see next week and for the following weeks after, we'll get into the stuff that the class is uh, definitely promising. China, Africa, uh, parts of Europe, World War I, World War II, so on and so forth. But I want to give you a base here, and it will all make sense, I hope, come the end of the lecture. All of the lecture slides will be laid out in this fashion. We're going to have a breakdown of the lecture over here, at least as best as I can. Uh, a list of important terms and some questions to keep in mind. That doesn't mean that there won't be additional questions and additional terms, but these are certainly the ones that you should take note of. Uh, as noted in the syllabus, you are responsible for taking your own notes and anything quiz related or any work at all that might require notes, all of it is open note. So feel free to take as many notes as you want and uh, to come back to these videos anytime you need. That's what they are here for. So without further ado, I'll just pause for a second, take all those down, maybe stop the video. Uh, one thing I'll mention while you write these things down, and like I said, feel free to pause, is that you'll notice that there are questions to consider. And you'll also notice that some of our discussion board questions uh, relate to these questions or outright simply use those questions as the prompt for the discussion board that week. Uh, so it's always good to keep these questions in mind as we proceed. Uh, this is where the screencast video that you're watching right now is going to go. So in theory, you would have seen these things already. So I want you to pause this video. And while you pause this video, I want you to write down for your notes what you believe history is. All of us have an idea of what history is, whether you think about it a lot or if you don't think about it at all. But what is history? When somebody asks you, what is history? What do you think history is? And what do you think historians do? So pause this video, take a moment, jot down a few ideas, don't stress over it. And uh, when you're ready, uh, resume. There is no right or wrong answer here. Uh, I'm simply uh, tapping your mind for what your idea is. So take a moment, pause the video, turn it back on when you're ready. Okay. At this point, I like to think that you wrote at least a few things down. And I'm curious as to what you guys did write down. So you might want to note that in your discussion board if you feel like it will help you in answering the question this week or a series of questions this week. But let's look at what history is not first and keep track of your notes and see if any of these things popped up on in your notes. Uh, so is history, for example, is history uh, old things of the past like maps or artifacts like statues and temples or are they um, old books or are they old warships and military weapons? Is that history? Is history battles, great battles, and the great men who led those battles? Is that what we mean when we ask what history is? Or for some of you who don't really care one way or the other, but have experienced history in high school, is history nothing more than just a collection of dates and figures and names that are just given to you for testing purposes? 
information that requires it to be memorized, rote memorization. So just trivial information, when certain battles occurred, who certain presidents and leaders were, uh, and just things that happened a long time ago at various points throughout time. As one of uh, uh, one of my mentors at Clemson said, and I think he was quoting somebody, he said, is history simply one damn thing after another? Well, that's a good question. But the answer to all of these things is uh, no. I mean, yes and no. Every answer in this class is actually probably going to be yes or no. But for our purposes here, let's just say it's uh, no, it's not. So history is not great battles or people or artifacts or names or dates. As you can see here, these things are part of history. They're all part of history but they are not history. They are not what we mean when we say history. What is history? What does, do historians do? These are part of it, but they are not history themselves. The gentleman over here is John Fia. He is a historian of American religion, as well as I believe colonial America as well. He's written some excellent books. Uh, he wrote a book on whether or not America was founded as a Christian country. He wrote uh, a book that came out not too long ago about evangelicals and Donald Trump. Uh, John Fia himself is a devout evangelical, and he teaches at Messiah College. He is the creator of the two videos that you are watching this week. And at this moment, I would like you to pause this lecture. This video is over now. And I want you to stop the slideshow. I want you to go and I want you to watch those two videos by John Fia. I want you to take notes on those videos as you would take notes on these. And I want you to digest that information and then come back and you will resume at this, uh, at this slide here, uh, which is going to be the continuation of this lecture. Of course, as you can see here, the lecture hasn't been posted yet because I'm in the process of making it. But stop here, pause, go back, watch the John Fia videos, both of them, there are two, take some notes, and then come back and resume the lecture.